meters. So think of them as little particles of dust moving at 44 miles per second, and they crash into the Earth's atmosphere and they can create bright streaks of light. Okay, so that would be tonight, midnight to about 6 a.m. And you don't really need to look at a certain part of the sky. You would want to be uh, just find a dark spot away from lights, let your eyes adjust, it takes about 30 minutes and up to a 20 per hour would be possible. And if we, uh, Chloe, if you go back to the graphic, does this make sense to you? So we got the sun in the middle, we got the earth. So you see the little blue marble, pretty cool. Okay, so we're here. Can I even point to this? It's time to start pointing to this. Let's, let's, uh, let's put this here. And then we got the little arrow. There's a straight line. I don't see the arrow for now, but uh, we, I think we can at least, there we go better. So here's the earth and we're orbiting around the sun. And you, you see this, this blue area though, this is something different. This is not the earth orbit around the sun. This is your trail of dusty debris. So that's from the orbit of Temple Tuttle. It's a comet. Okay. An icy comet. So we're going through a little snowball fight in space. And this is the area we're moving through tonight. Okay. And as we do so, we're going to have this debris the size of this of sand the size of a grain of sand just crashing into our atmosphere so don't worry the, the atmosphere protects us but at the same time that friction will create quite a show so fireballs will be possible so that's what i'll be watching i think that's pretty cool uh, so as we look at all of our notes here uh, on the lead in meteor shower uh, you can see earth's atmosphere colliding with the comet debris we showed you peaks tonight uh, keep in mind though we will have above average meteor showers through early december this is all part of the same shower uh, but tonight will be the most active. Find a dark place, away from lights. The beach works the best, I feel. Allow eyes to adjust for at least 30 minutes. All right, we got the future cast here. We got five, about five more minutes, so let's get to the to the meat and potatoes. Okay, future cast showing our beautiful day, Brunswick. We got 75, Jacksonville, the hidden gem of the country, and our football team's going to get there. Yeah, it's going to get there. 76 degrees, and then you see St. Augustine at 72, just gorgeous west wind throughout. We go through the afternoon. There's our highs. Uh, hey, don't be surprised, Brunswick, Jacksonville, St. Augustine. We could all be near 80. I've got 82. And then tonight, okay, I know we got the meteor shower. What about the viewing? This is important. High cloud. These are very thin clouds. This model, this is just kind of painting a broad brush. It's like if you're painting a picture, you're just trying to paint a little bit of a, you want a white area. Well, that's what the computer's doing. So not as specific as it looks here. It's just saying we could have a few high clouds. I've got fair to good viewing conditions. I'm going to say it's going to be good. Uh, I'll be out there. You see the model showing a few clouds, though, from Brunswick to Jacksonville. Look how warm it'll be this evening, mid to upper 60s. Isn't that nice? And then as we go into late tonight again, this shown a good job of the front coming our way through areas of South Georgia, right over Jekyll Island, Cumberland Island as we wake up and then moving south. But notice those temperatures in the morning. We got low to mid 50s Brunswick to about 60 Jacksonville and St. Augustine. And again, we'll get some viewing in. Uh, the meteor showers should be best before 5 a.m. Just keep that in mind. So getting to work in school tomorrow, not a problem. That's a dry front, moisture starved, no rain expected, and it'll continue to move quickly south through the day and another gorgeous day. Now, I went 77 tomorrow, so that's a change. I mean, we've been in the 80s, but uh, tomorrow maybe a few degrees cooler but it's still going to be so nice it's just a fall delight out there and then we go into tomorrow night tuesday looking good for after school sports any shower activity you see a little sprinkling of green stays well to the east of jacksonville so there we go seven day forecast your most accurate on the first coast boom <laughs> there's our jaguar winning weather tomorrow a few degrees cooler and then right back up in the low to mid 80s remember i showed you that atmospheric pattern Nature keeps a balance. Somebody's got to be cold. Somebody's got to be stormy. That's not us this week. Remember, we had to be cold last week. Not, not our turn. We're, we're on the warm side of the seesaw.